On July 13, 2024, former President Donald Trump was the target of an assassination attempt during a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. The incident occurred just days before he was set to accept the Republican nomination for the third time. The rally, held at the Butler Farm Show grounds, turned chaotic when gunfire erupted, sending the crowd into a panic. Trump was speaking on stage when the shots rang out. According to reports, he immediately ducked behind the podium as Secret Service agents rushed to shield him. The former president later revealed that he was grazed by a bullet on the upper part of his right ear, causing significant bleeding. Despite the injury, Trump was quickly evacuated by his security detail and taken to a nearby hospital for treatment. His campaign later confirmed that he was doing fine. The FBI identified the shooter as Thomas Matthew Crooks, a 20-year-old from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Crooks was positioned on the roof of a nearby building, which allowed him a clear line of sight to the stage. Secret Service agents engaged and killed the shooter after he fired multiple shots. The incident left one attendee dead and two others critically injured. The attack drew widespread condemnation from both sides of the political spectrum. President Joe Biden expressed his relief that Trump was not seriously hurt and emphasized the need to unite against political violence. He stated, there's no place in America for this type of violence. It's sick. It's sick. Biden cut short his weekend in Delaware to return to Washington, D.C., and address the situation. Many Republicans were quick to blame the incident on the heightened political rhetoric and attacks against Trump. They pointed to a comment Biden made on July 8, where he mentioned it was time to put Trump in the bullseye, suggesting that this may have incited violence. Trump's campaign highlighted the need for increased security measures at the upcoming Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. Video footage from the rally showed Trump raising his fist in defiance as he was escorted off stage, blood visible on his face. This image quickly became a rallying cry for his supporters, symbolizing his resilience in the face of adversity. The convention organizers assured that the event would proceed as planned, with heightened security measures in place. Sid Miller, the Texas Agriculture Commissioner, was present at the rally and described the chaotic scene. He recounted how the first few shots missed Trump, but one eventually grazed his ear. Miller expressed confidence that Trump would continue to the national convention despite the attack. Texas leaders, including Governor Greg Abbott and Senator Ted Cruz, condemned the violence and offered their support to Trump. Abbott stated, they tried to jail him. They tried to kill him. It will not work. He is indomitable. Cruz emphasized the need for prayers and unity in the face of such acts of violence. Democratic leaders also condemned the attack. U.S. Representative Colin Allred, a Democrat from Texas, stated, Violence of any kind has no place in our democracy, and I condemn this horrific attack in the strongest possible terms. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Barack Obama echoed similar sentiments, calling for civility and respect in politics. The incident has raised concerns about the security of political figures and the potential for increased political violence as the election approaches. Law enforcement agencies are investigating how the shooter managed to get so close to the stage without being detected. The Secret Service is reviewing their protocols to prevent similar incidents in the future.
The attack on Trump is reminiscent of past assassination attempts on political figures, such as the shooting of President Ronald Reagan in 1981. These incidents underscore the importance of robust security measures to protect political leaders and ensure the safety of the public during such events. Questions and Answers What happened at the Trump rally in Butler, Pennsylvania? Former President Donald Trump was the target of an assassination attempt, resulting in his ear being grazed by a bullet. Who was identified as the shooter? The FBI identified the shooter as Thomas Matthew Crooks, a 20-year-old from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. How did the Secret Service respond to the shooting? Secret Service agents quickly shielded Trump and engaged the shooter, ultimately killing him. What were the immediate reactions from political leaders? Both President Joe Biden and various Republican leaders condemned the violence and called for unity against political violence. How did Trump supporters react to the incident? Many of Trump's supporters rallied around him, emphasizing his resilience and using the image of his bloodied fist as a symbol of defiance. What security measures are being taken for the upcoming Republican National Convention? Organizers have assured heightened security measures to prevent similar incidents from occurring. How did Sid Miller, who was present at the rally, describe the scene? Miller recounted the chaos and expressed confidence in Trump's ability to continue despite the attack. What historical incidents does the attack on Trump resemble? The incident is reminiscent of past assassination attempts on political figures, such as the shooting of President Ronald Reagan in 1981. What concerns have been raised following the attack? Concerns about the security of political figures and the potential for increased political violence as the election approaches have been raised. What steps are being taken by law enforcement to address security lapses? Law enforcement agencies are investigating the incident and reviewing protocols to prevent future security breaches. The assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump highlights the ever-present risks faced by political leaders and the volatile nature of current political discourse. This incident while deeply troubling, has also served as a reminder of the resilience and unity that can emerge in the face of adversity. The bipartisan condemnation of the attack is a positive step towards fostering a more civil and respectful political environment. For more detailed coverage and ongoing updates on this and other significant events, make sure to follow and subscribe to our channel, Use a Web Videos. Stay informed and stay safe.